No time for an intro, let's talk Memory of Fell Winter. It's a new artifact coming in Rise of Iron, I'm sure you've seen it. Now it's amazing on paper, and I thought to myself, double wombo combo, and I get to lose the dumb void bow. Surely this is a win-win. Surprisingly, it's just not that good. It is not that good. And I'm really disappointed because it was my most anticipated new artifact, I guess. So let me explain why. Here's what's going on. By the way, the footage in the background was recorded at Bungie's studio on two of the new maps, Skyline and Last Exit. The first is Rumble Supremacy, where I get some nice snipes, but ultimately do not win. And the second map is Regular Supremacy, where I actually went unbroken 21 and 0. I was so close to the We Ran Out of Metals 25 kill streak. But I just couldn't quite get there. I just couldn't bloody get there. Why am I so bad at PvP? I'm actually the worst. Anyway, memory of Fell Winter. What does it do? Well, basically, you drop your super, but you gain one extra grenade and melee charge and a small boost to all stats. And also orbs, instead of giving you super, obviously they give you melee and grenade energy. By the way, that triggers me. Saying melee before grenade absolutely triggers me because grenade comes before melee on the UI, okay? So let's just sort that out right now. I'm triggered. Right, I'm already triggered. So what I stupidly assumed was that when it says a small boost to all stats, what that meant was that your grenade and melee cooldown would be even shorter than what it is currently. So currently at tier five, the grenade cooldown is 25 seconds and the melee cooldown is 29 seconds. So this does not reduce any further with Memory of Fell Winter. I mean, I don't I don't know why I thought it would because thinking about it now obviously that's overpowered if you're freaking if you have two grenade and melee charges and they're reduced below like 25 seconds each god that would be so insane so what exactly is the quote unquote stat boost then what is this god almighty stat boost that the weapon is talking about first of all I don't know why it says all stats because there's no like you don't need intellect because you don't have super so it's like all stats and by that, we just made discipline strength. That's a little bit misleading, but I'll let it slide. But what it really is, it's just extra discipline and strength, which is wasted if you were already tier five on both those cooldowns. So let's look at the numbers. Wait, Jess, numbers? What is this, a Dado video? I know, what has my channel become? Please send help, I'm being held hostage. So my memory of Jolda has a max of 78 slash 75 intellect strength, respectively, at 350 light in this build. Whereas memory of Fell Winter has a minimum of 118 slash 120 discipline strength at the same light. That is a huge increase with the option for one stat to be at over 160. So it's just like, hey, do you want like a million discipline strength? Like, do you just want like a million just casually all the time? <laughs> Sounds great, but like I said, if you were already at tier five for grenade and melee, the extra points are just wasted. I'm chilling at a comfortable 425 discipline, 424 strength. But the cooldowns do not give an F because 300 is the max. Which brings me to my conclusion about the artifact. Great on paper, really average in-game. And I don't know if it's because I'm a wombo whore in-game and I didn't even realize, but I often found myself still waiting for the cooldown to finish while I was playing. And I was thinking at the time, like, God, if I'm still having to wait to use my wombo, why the hell am I even using this artifact that's supposedly going to give me Wombo 24-7? I guess my expectations were just way too high on this bad boy. Way too high. And this is going to sound ludicrous, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but I kind of missed the bow. Wow, you kind of missed the bow? Look at this guy. Talks trash for two years about the bow, and then all of a sudden misses the bow. Yeah, that's right. Not ever getting a super actually kind of sucks. <laughs> sure, your neutral game is better because of the more frequent abilities. But when the supers start coming out and the big boys are in town, you're as useless as a vegetarian at a butcher. You have got nothing to help your team. I wish I had the bow multiple times to stop like a bloody storm caller from ravaging my entire team and my life. So theoretically, when would you even use this artifact? Well, let's have a look at a few potential builds. You know what I'm saying. So for Sunbreaker, you can't use Simmering Flames for faster recharge because you need a full super for that to be in effect. I mean, maybe you could use Fusion Grenades with Cauterize, Fleet Fire, and Stroke the Forge because that would basically give you instant health regen on either grenade or melee kill which you would have two of and then stroke the forge reduces your melee cooldown even further or instantly recharges it on kill so obviously that's going to be a shotgun build and then fleet fire gives a very nice agility and reload speed buff as well whenever you get that grenade or melee kill so it's i don't know it could be synergistic but even then is it better than just having hammers 
I mean, probably not, honestly. I guess Bubble Titan has one pretty good build with no backup plans, magnetic grenades, unbreakable and relentless. But again, you have to be a shotgunner. Too bad if you're a sniper or any other secondary. Basically, after one shotgun or melee kill, you can go on a huge spree with Force Barrier up. So I guess that's kind of one unique niche build. I mean, Void Walkers could have a grenade spam build with Energy Drain if you go like the Hunger and Embrace the Void. But you can do that same Hunger Embrace the Void build with Nova Bomb as well. Like you don't really need to take out Nova Bomb. It would make the grenade slightly more effective, but I don't know. Nova Bomb is so great for shutting down supers. And there's no one perk that would be really good on a Stormcaller, obviously Perpetual Charge, but you do not want to give up the Storm Trance because that thing is god tier. It's easily in the top two supers in the game right now, if not number one. Guys, if Storm Trance isn't number one super in the game right now, you tell me what is, okay? You tell me in the comments what's stronger than Storm Trance, okay? Because there's nothing. What's more effective in PvP specifically I'm talking about? What has more slaying power and mobility and survivability than freaking Storm Trance? Absolutely nothing, okay? Case closed, I'm suing you. So anyway, I've probably missed some really sweet builds so if you could think of any sweet builds please tell me in the comments because I actually would like to try them out. But anyway, I don't know. In summary, I thought this was going to be my go-to artifact and I was really excited about it. But it turns out it's just kind of average. And you know what else is kind of average now that I'm on a really ranty kind of <laughs> roll? The new mind control artifact in PvE. That thing is super average. I've got some gameplay of it. And if you guys want to see a video on that, then I guess I'll do that too. If you guys enjoyed this kind of video, you let me know. And I could also do a mediocre rant video on... <laughs> What am I, Leafy, doing rant videos? Wow, Jazz, you're just copying Leafy. Just get alive. So for the rest of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and add some humorous text to, I guess, the rest of whatever's left of this unbroken gameplay for your viewing pleasure. So leave a like if you enjoyed the video as A, I really need to pay my bills and B, I'm a huge sellout. Appreciate ya. I'm the Jazz. God bless. You're super cute. How good is cheese pizza though? Remind me never to take you lightly, Guardian. to you, Guardian. I want more, Guardian! Two for one. Glory is yours. Strength in numbers, Guardian. Bring it home, Guardians. You shame them! My respect for you grows with every crest you claim, Guardian. Well fought. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a live look at the Bravo team. This is the Destiny MLG Exhibition. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake it out.